Basically, I hate Zoltan Sectors. Moral of the story, I hate Zoltan Sectors because of this bullshit right here. Stupid, imbalanced, unfair. So, that's what, uh, the description of FTL, basically. Stupid, imbalanced, and unfair. So, what's up, silly hat man? I was Sector 6. I was Sector 6. Oh man, that's frustrating. We were going to have such a super strong build against the boss, too. And what's, what's really frustrating is I just chose to skip the store to get more scrap before going to that next jump, so... My decision to not go to the store... Gambling on not just dying to some random crap got punished, basically. Yeah, Zoltan Border Police and Shields. Just, just... Ah, uh, man, I, I hate that. I really... There are a lot of things that are frustrating in this game, but them getting free bypass on your shields, on your Zoltan shield for the boarding events is just, it's just stupid. That's just dumb. I couldn't predict getting that monster over ship after I skipped the store. Well, I hadn't seen Zoltan border police yet, so... I, I could have predicted it. I didn't. You can't ever count anything out in FTL, though. Yeah, I was fed a silly hat, man. Oh, man. Oh, that was such a good build. We were going to have three burst laser twos and a heavy laser at least on the boss fight. I'm just wrecked, man. What's up, Nietzsche? All right, let me finish my granola bar. And we'll be ready for another run. We're not doing fed a again unless we random it again, so... We'll probably get, like, Rock A or Slug B or something, though. Yeah, I feel like what really hurt us... You know, that last jump killed us, but I feel like what really hurt us was the NG sector that had one ship fight on a Burst Laser 2. The Burst Laser 2 for free was great. I would not change a Burst Laser 2 for an entire scrap, scrapless sector, though. I would take four or five ship fights over a Burst Laser 2 for gains. If I already have good weapons, so. All right, a clear head, new run. That was a really shock to just to end have the run end like that, <laughs> right there, so suddenly. That's FTL for you. Here we go, random seven times. See what we get. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Mantis C. Well, at least it's not the Mantis B we've been getting, we've been getting it over and over. Although I like Mantis B better, but. Uh, this ship at least starts with an NG. Has a whole anti-synergy boarding thing, which is not my favorite, but... Alright. Boarding ship. This is something different here. So, let's do this. Stealth C, you called it. Wait, Stralth C? You didn't call anything. <laughs> Alright. Four-man teleporter hype. Yeah. Yeah, it could be good, unless we don't get any crew, which was what happened last run. What is the anti-synergy? Uh, the Alanius... Um, vents your own mantis in the same room, so... You can't keep these guys in the same room, that's anti-synergy. I would rather have no mantis and two Lanius, or no Lanius and two mantis. Either would be more useful than one of each, in my opinion. The Struth C, my favorite ship. <laughs> oh god, he's got heal bay, three lasers. All right, here we go. Um, I think, God, I don't. Maybe I shouldn't have taken this fight, but I guess we stun bomb the weapons room. And then you'll lock down the heal bay and then board in the heal bay. Probably just die though. With this weapon system, we honestly probably just die here. Alright, well we don't board. Alright, you know what? We're not playing a hard mode no pause thing. Let's restart. Let's restart. That's just bullshit. Three shots. First shot. Sits my uh, teleporter on fire. We're gonna just uh, go ahead and restart. What's up? Uh... Hectic, hectic gaming. Hey, Zeldon Shield, and uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna restart. 
Let's, this is what you do if you get bullshit starts and you're not doing a streak. Freaking restart. That's stupid. Hey, how about a first jump solar flare with a, uh, <laughs> God damn. Oh, what the hell is this game right now? Okay. Uh, restart best augment. Yes. Well, that's a good dumble doge. Damn it. Ouch. Oh my god. I should have brought my shields down. Okay, I think we're okay. Okay. Hopefully we can allow the solo flare to finish him off and I won't have to clone my dude. Let's see if we can do that though. Hey fire, there's no there's no auction. How about you go out, huh? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Don't, don't do it, don't do it. Okay, thank goodness. Okay. What's the max the solar flare can do? I think it's two, right? So one more solar flare will kill him if it does damage. So let's go ahead and do that. Let the solar flare finish him, hopefully. We'll take the damage to... Should kill him. Man to see you run, good luck. Kappa, or lol. I get Kappa and lol mixed up for whatever reason. Go get indoors here to block off whatever fires. Don't hit my shields. Good. Alright, we took like three damage there. And three solar flares, it's fine. It makes you feel better, your RNG is worse than yours than mine today. 420 free wallet damage from freezer malfunction event. Oh, your freezer felt malfunctioned and you had to pay 420 bucks. That sucks. That really sucks. Slaver. Okay. With, wow, really good crew. Um... So what we're going to do is we're going to lock down weapons. Board the weapons. So that hopefully we make it... If we get either weapon offline, we're good. Beautiful. Alright, and then I think what we want to do is this. Okay. So I think that's how you're supposed to do with this ship. Uh, although he's no longer... Oh! Wow, stun lasts a long time, holy crap! Okay, that actually worked rather well. Okay. That's really good. Free rock man, yes please. I think that might be what you're supposed to do with this ship. Lock down a room, either one 2v1 a guy or take out a system, then stun them when the O2 goes out. Yeah, getting a, sl a slaver early to get extra crew is huge on a boarding ship, so that's really good. That's why in Oni you put your food in CO2 rather than freezing it. <laughs> well, I have clone bay. Oh god. Alright, let's attack. Do, 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 do. Let's try to get some doges here. This could be really bad. Alright. Good. Okay, it's we're fine. Everything's fine. Don't need these. Don't need this. Do 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 do. Okay. Do 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 do. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and do this anyway. No reason to... So this should come up first. 
Why did I not choose Mantis? Are you just dumb, Bram? No, you're not just dumb. You could definitely choose Mantis if you want to, you know, really focus on getting the four Mantis board in quickly. Um, I get Rock when I don't have a Rock because they're also good on boarding and they give blue options. Rocks, there are a number of blue options that Rocks give that Mantis do not. So I like having one of the really many good crew crew choices out there. Rock's just one of many good crew choices. I'll just let you die, probably. Uh, the worst part is that the piece that broke is literally a $10 part of most refrigerators. But Frigidaire doesn't sell that sensor, apparently. They make you buy an entire new defrost heater. That's some bullshit. Factoid. That sounds like car crap, like, you know, the oxygen sensor goes out in your car, and so you now have to buy a new, um catalytic converter i've had to do that two or three times two or three times because o2 sensor which is maybe a 50 dollar repair goes out if you don't repair quickly enough 300 dollar catalytic converter repair sucks i feel you i really feel you factoid some bull snizzle <laughs> kind of wish this ship started with an ion bomb yeah yeah, I mean, I, I I think I know what they're trying to do with this, and I think we did it on the previous fight, but it's a weird, it's a weird combo. That's the Apple style of making things. Replace your phone every one to two years, no chance to fix this, or it's just too expensive, yeah. Do, 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 do. Do, do. They just run the heater until everything defrosted. Sensors are broken, so you have to buy an entire new ship. That's right. Sensors are broke. New ship time. One million dollars. One Mantis versus one Rockman is about equal, but you can micro to win two Mantis versus two Rockman because the Rock dudes are so slow, you can 2v1 them by running around the ship. True. But you know what's not fun to do on hard mode no pause? Extra crew micro. So. Still. It's true. But. There are events that Rock give you blue options that Mantis don't. If you already have a Mantis, why not get a Rockman? They're about equal in power. Uh, Rockman gives you other advantages, though. So, that's why I chose the Rock, dude. Did you ever do the ship on an as-intended challenge? I did, I believe. Pretty sure I did. We have Clone Bay for that one half-power event, so... Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, okay, I'll take that. Do, 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 do. Everybody, everybody gets vented. You get a vent, and you get a vent. Everybody gets vented, except not you. Our borders will vent, though. Did you fix the satisfactory problem and the stream problem? We fixed the satisfactory problem by not playing satisfactory anymore. So, yeah, sure. Um, we're not playing satisfactory because um, the cloud save broke it, and I and I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. Um, the stream problem, I don't know. I think it's just, it was just Twitch having a blip and causing me issues. Knock on wood, we haven't disconnected yet today, but it's usually around this hour that it happens. So if it happens, it's probably going to happen soon. I'm hoping it doesn't happen at all and I don't have to worry about it. And we'll say, yes, it's fixed. But I don't know. One, two, three, four. I have seven jumps. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do I want a store is the question. Yeah, we need a weapon. That's not a crappy bomb. It's like how we fix the lack of scrap by dying. It's right. <laughs> oh, God. So... Stun Bomb can get through the Zeldon Shield, right? So we can get through this guy's shield eventually. I guess we'll go for it. God, this ship's annoying as hell. What's the as intended for the ship? Must board and use stun or lockdown? I guess so. I mean... <laughs> It's, I, I think the as intended is what I did on that earlier fight that I was talking about. 
which was we lock down a room, you board in the room, then you stun them in that room while they're right as the O2 runs out. Yeah, stun bomb can get through. It's like an ion weapon, so it's not fast, but it'll get through eventually. So one more shot. No more satisfactory. Remember you made a backroot save file when you were messing around. I know. Yes. If you were here yesterday, Factoid, you would have seen all the work. We spent hours working on it. I know. I know. And that backup we made is the only reason that I only lost four hours and not the entire Thursday stream. So, I know. I know what we have access to. But I don't know that this problem's not going to happen again because Satisfactory's early access in Epic Games Store sucks. So, I'm giving up on Satisfactory for now and I'm using it as an excuse to play another game because I've been wanting to play other games for a while. So... Uh, I mean, you're asking about it, but I've talked. I've been talking about it like since yesterday, and I've we talked about it for the first hour of the stream. So I don't. I kind of don't want to talk about it anymore. You could, you can watch yesterday's vod if you want to see what we did to try to recover it. We did a lot of stuff. We did a lot of stuff to try to recover it, and it, it's, it's basically it's unrecoverable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that better or worse? We hit two stores. I did mention Factorio. Uh, I did mention Factorio. It's still a candidate, but what I'm actually going to play, at least to start out with, is Battletech. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have a couple options here. You've got a problem with your NGC run. Three NGs, three Zoldans, one human, and starting Lanius. You think I'll lose to boarding? Okay. How about only auto scouts and Zoldan shields in Sector 1 with my boarding ship? How about that? How about that? How about this crap? Oh my god. Don't hit my... Okay, it's fine. Uh, they didn't hack my, didn't hack my teleporter to bring him back over and over. Super slow sector one. I mean, it's super slow when you get the counters to boarding and you're a boarding ship. So that's currently what we got going on. Vectoria's getting a lot of views on Twitch right now because of the point one point release. Is BattleTech related to Mech Warrior? It's a, two different things, but yeah, um, yeah, BattleTech is. It's basically XCOM with mechs, and it's a game that's been out for a long time, and I've been wanting to play it for a while, and I was gifted the game, and I kind of want to play something different than an automation game, because I've been playing so much Satisfactory, probably after Battletech, or after I'm done with my current, I'm done with Monster Trainer, I'll probably play Factorio. I know, Factorio is getting a lot of views. I, I don't usually play games because it's the popular flavor of the month game. I just play what I want to play when I want to play it. And I will eventually want to play Factorio again. But uh, I'm not going to jump to, into it just because, oh, everyone's playing it and I can get views. The counter argument to that is everyone's playing it, so probably nobody will watch me play it. Because <laughs> all the big streamers are probably getting lots of views for it. So I'm, I don't... I don't like to... I don't like to play games when they're popular, actually, often, because then it feels like I'm jumping on to the Flavor of the Month train. It's XCOM with Battle Mechs or Into the Breach with RNG. There you go. It's always Dicey Dungeons. <laughs> yes, there is always Dicey Dungeons. No, I have lots of games to play. I have no shortage. I don't, I don't have any issue with having a game to play. We got plenty of games to play. Uh, so that's why Satisfactory screwing up on us is kind of a good thing. It gives us an excuse to play another game. And I've wanted to play for a while. No, I actually didn't finish Dicey Dungeons. I got to the point where the challenges were so ridiculous and the builds were so uh, repetitive that I didn't feel the need to play it anymore. I was like, I've kind of done everything I want to do on this. XCOM with mech sounds like fun. It does, and 
I've seen a lot of streamers play it and it looks like fun. I don't know how much replayability is in the game. So. On an up note, you had a pretty good day so far. Been a bit listless in last week and managed to get some jobs finished off. Nice, Scottish Pingu. Uh, Ren, what's up? Good to see you, my friend. Seven months in a row. It's good to see you, sir. How are you doing, man? Thank you for your subage, sir. Double rewards, not bad. It's only 20 scrapping with double rewards. Watching Rand lose his shit at Dice Dungeons was the only time you felt bad at how shit his RNG is. <laughs> yeah, Dicey Dungeons got pretty salty. All right, I'm not spending scrap because we have a store coming up and what if a flack? So... Metal Tech's another game where 90% is, is dodge, is 10% dodge. Really? Really? I've had two Zaldan ships in Sector 1 and like three Auto Scouts. What the fudge, FTL? What the fudge? Is this bulls fudge? This bull fudging fudge is fudge is fudge tastic. Good. That timed out well for us. Jesus, man. Yes, I timed it right. Beautiful. <laughs> really? Really? Two ion shots to my weapons? Really? Cool. Oh, good. At least he hasn't hit my shields with his, uh, with his eye on there. All right, one more and we can board this guy. Uh, okay, that one we let that hit. Okay, good. Okay, all right. Well, we took no damage there. We had to do a bunch of micro to keep the ion from hitting our shields, but Jesus. If I could not have an, another auto scout or Zoldan shield ship, I'd, I'd be very happy. One, two, three, four, I guess we have to do. A plus micro on the shields. Oh, thank you. Jam a fudge sickle up his thermal exhaust port. <laughs> I, I want to. Uh, has anyone ever take the weapon? Can it be anything, or is it deducted from a pool? Why are you talking? Was was there an offer of a weapon? If it's the one where they say this is a dangerous place, you should get a weapon. Don't ever do it because it's a trap. If that's what you're talking about. Your first ship you sent ran made him super happy. Four lane is starting with his own bypass. That was before you were getting good at the game. You thought it was balanced. <laughs> What's up, FP Kevy? And Katwiesel. Katwiesel! All right. Um, you have a heal bay and drone control. I'm going to take the free scrap. I don't know if it's an offensive drone. I don't know if it's an anti-personnel drone. Okay. I have a lot of scrap. Let's hope the store's got something good. Ha <laughs> ha! What if a flak? Called it. Frickin' called it, man. Ooh, Zoltan Shield Bypass 2. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. And a Breach 2 bomb. Talk about a good bomb for boarding. We have some choices here, actually. Um. That's kind of worthless. I get Zoltan Shield Bypass... And the breach. I think if I sold the stun bomb, I could, right? I really kind of want backup battery, though. I really want this. Is there any reason to keep the stun bomb? I don't think so. so I could just get second shield, or I could get Zoldan shield bypass. I think we just always get this, right? And then we work towards the second shield, and we are looking strong here. Let's go ahead and do that value point here. 
What if a flak? You gotta, you know, if you're having a trouble in FTL, just ask what would flak do? WWFD. Uh, investigate. Okay. All right, you wanna board me, eh? Okay. Do 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 do. Cool. Of course, it's done. My guy who does double damage. Why wouldn't it do that? And why wouldn't you hit my same dude two times in a row? Why wouldn't you do that? Oh god, he repairs it right as I board too. Thank you. No missiles for you, dirtbag. Okay. Hey, and uh, FB Cabby with the three months, my friend. Appreciate it. Sorry about my save game loss. Me too. Me too, but it's okay. Worst, you know what? If the worst thing going on in my life right now is I lose a save file for a video game I'm playing, I uh, my life's in pretty good shape. That's the worst I have to deal with. God, I hope it's the worst I have to deal with. Or you pay 45 scrap and get nothing. Yeah, for that event where they're offering a weapon. Yeah, it's either that or they also attack you and they say, I told you it's dangerous. <laughs> and then and whatever. So I just don't take, I just, I forget what the event actually is. We have Elenius for abandoned, but pirate is free crew opportunity. So sorry, abandoned. We're doing this. <laughs> flack is love, flack is life, flack is happiness. It's the answer to everything. That's right. Been encountering a lot of Zoltan Shield ships, so bypass is a good idea. Well, now that I have Zoltan Shield bypass, there will be no Zoltan ships, because that's how FTL works. But yes, yes, it, 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 it's very good if we go all in on the boarding, for sure. <laughs> Fix it, break it. Right. Hey, an auto scout ship. Well, at least we have the flak now. Um, And you can't do damage to us, so that's perfect. Uh, do I want to board with my dude? Well, let's see how this works. All right, we got to hit him. I remember when I couldn't find the memory card for your PS1, you know what lost game progress is like. Well, that's uh that sounds uh, like some old pain there, error. <laughs> old pain. You know, days as a PS1 gamer. Saddest thing about it, I actually feel bad for the people who are actually enjoying watching the Satisfactory because I was getting too close to the point where the builds were getting so complex that I was kind of like I don't know how much more time I want to spend in Satisfactory anyway So it probably works out pretty well that it's kind of forces us to play another game. So it's fine I'm not too sad about it Seems like a rubbish option if you can get nothing like never worth taking the event. Yeah, that's that's why I never take that event Yeah if, if that's the event we're talking about, the one where they say it's a dangerous place, you should buy a weapon. I have a good deal. You just never take the deal. <laughs> Fighting auto scouts with a single flak brings back dark memories to you. Okay. Okay, there. Okay. <laughs> Damn it, micro. Micro, let me click on the thing I want to click on. You're enjoying it, FB Kevy? I was too. Oh god, there's more crew. I didn't know there was more humans. How many humans are there? There's three. So, sorry for folks who were enjoying the Satisfactory, but... Hashtag Blame Epic Games. Um, what's it called? Blame Epic Games stores cloud storage being bullshit and crap. Bullshit and crap. It's a stupid mechanic that I've already whined enough about today, so I'm not going to whine about it anymore. <laughs> Update 4 will come out and change everything anyway. Even if they don't break the saves outright, they always change recipes and your factories just stop working. Do they, really? I know, I thought a lot of people have been playing the... Like, they keep updating their saves. I guess they're have When they do that, with that new updates, they have to, like, rebuild everything. I probably am just gonna try to do what I did with Subnautica. I'm probably gonna do my best to hold off on playing it again until it comes out completely and is finished, so... Yes, lock on our life signs with a teleporter. Yes! This is why we got the Rockman earlier. We'll get the Mantids. We'll get them. We'll get the Mantids. If we're lucky. Beautiful. Okay.
Do, 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 do. Nice. Get wrecked. We are now really, really stinking strong. Really strong. We got we got four man boarding. We got a flak. Next I need missile defense for ships like that. So cloaking would be a great buy. Hacking would be pretty useful. Cloaking and mind control. Or hacking and cloaking or hacking and mind control. Those that's the real choice, the tough choice. Which of the OP systems do you get? I got I got the max OP ness last last on Federation A and got blasted, so no guarantees. Oh, we got Clone Bay. Bring it aboard. Nice. I think Clone Bay protects you from losing crew there. When update 3 came out, your update 2 factory still worked, but they changed around some of your recipes that you often had the wrong inputs, wrong ratios, etc. Yeah, makes sense. Hey, what's up, Jitterbug? How are you doing, my friend? Good to see you, sir. How is your... What day is it again? Wednesday. How was your Wednesday? Last night, me and Shogi were working on our our uh, characters for our for the uh, D and D session. Excited about that happening soon. All right, he can't get through my shields. Let's do it this way. Teleport you guys here. So, for those who don't know, we are soon on Sundays going to be doing a uh, a. Uh, D and D RPG stream. It's probably gonna be uh, around the second or third Sunday in September that that's gonna start. So anybody who's interested in that, I'm very excited. I'll be playing a bard. Jitterbug's gonna be playing a druid. Shogi's gonna be playing a paladin. We have a couple other people gonna play with us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. All right, beautiful. Nice double rewards. Busy but good. Cannot wait to play D and D. We're really looking forward to it. Me too, my friend. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Do we have a store? Not yet. We are in a pirate sector. Let me get one power. Do you want to get one power? What if I get cloaking? System repair drone. Let's let's wait. Let's wait. Kind of wish drones were better for the player. You really don't like getting drone control, but will if you can't get cloaking. Ugh. Uh, drone control's not bad. It's you know it's the, it's just the defense drone failing crap. That's the annoying thing. Hey, more slavers. That's what I like to see. You like slavers? Yeah, love them. My favorite. Um, I'm probably not going to fire here. Okay. All right. Do we get our last mantis? Yeah, let's get our last mantis. Beautiful. Johnson, welcome, Jansen. You're such a Jansen, Jansen. So that is... Still no store. I'm going to get sensor so I can just board immediately with a rock and three mantids. We are... Our boarding is fully online, my friends. Fully online. Uh, when did I say I'm playing DNT? You didn't hear properly? Uh, well, it's not set in stone yet. We're doing a... Um, we're doing a practice session this coming Sunday that's not going to be streamed, but I will record it and upload it to YouTube. Probably... The actual stream sessions are going to start like second or third Sunday this month. So in the next couple weeks, I'll, I'll let you know for sure when we get it scheduled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Ask Rand, I gave him a super OP massively buffed defense drone and it still was barely worth it. Yeah. By the way, Rand, when are you going to be making an OnlyFans? I don't know what that is. Is that a, is that a website? <laughs> As soon as I figure out what it is, I'll make one. I promise. If it's a site where people take their clothes off for money, uh, sadly, never. Sadly, I will never do that. Sadly. Or... Thankfully, for most people. <laughs> it's a massive multiplayer factorial event play plan about five days. Maybe stream that. Uh, I don't know, FB Kevy. I don't often do big things like that. I, I doubt, I doubt it. Don't make an OnlyFans rant? Okay, I won't. 
Sorry for having to repeat. No, it's a problem. It's a, it's a problem. It's, a problem. It's, it's no problem. It's not a problem. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't, I don't know that I would enjoy... Well, I mean, it would probably be fun, but... I don't know. Big giant events like that sound kind of cool. I just don't know if it's my kind of thing or not. Come on. Did you just board me? I don't know what just happened there. Do, 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 do. Does random ships mean cheat chat decides or is there a random button? There is a there is a button that uh, gives you a random ship and I press it seven times so that lucky RNG is number seven gives me whatever ship we play. Did the mantid die while teleporting to your ship? I, I think so. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. I think it was the NG tried to get away and he died or something. I'm not 100% sure what happened there. Beautiful. I do need one power right now, though. And no store, so I guess we'll get the power. No store for cloaking. There we go. Seven is bad luck in Japan, so, well, good thing I'm not playing in Japan. Oh, wait, maybe you're saying that's why my RNG is bad sometimes, because of that. Um... I already have level 2 clone bay. Kind of the only upgrades I want to get are... systems now. So, I'm going to save my scrap here. I'm going to guess 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, I'd have to dive if there's a store up there. There's a possible exit beacon store or empty jump store maybe, so... Factory is not a game you'd ever want to do multiplayer. It's enough to deal with having constant bug attacks on my base. You can't also deal with other players introducing their own pollution and causing more bug problems. You could deal with satisfactory multiplayer if it wasn't so buggy, but they're working on that. Yeah, I don't know that I ever want to play an automation game with other people because they're so intricate. How do you ever... Wow, an extra... Mantis, okay. How would you ever, like get anything done like you'd have to work on different builds and if you're working on different builds why do you play multiplayer i just automation games are so intricate and complex even when i just played you know the minecraft mods anytime somebody would mess with my builds it would drive me crazy because like that's not what i was doing and i don't know what's happening now you know i just i don't know as much as i like playing games with friends there are certain types of games that aren't really don't seem to work well for that thing in my opinion it seems like And basically any automation game seems like that to me. What? He... F the hell? He like literally followed me. Okay, great. Oh god, come on. Ugh. Gotcha. You almost only play Factorio without the bitters. Oh, biters, yeah. yeah. You actually love the defense aspect of Factorio. Those battles against hives are intense and it really drives the urgency of expanding your base. I do want to play. It's not like I'm never going to play, play Factorio. I actually am really excited to see what they've added and what's in the full release. There's just a lot of games I want to play right now, so it's probably not going to be soon that I play it. Probably in the next couple months I'll play it. play it. Soon TM is when we'll play Factorio. Full Mantis boarding. Actually, I could do that. Is that my preference? I actually like having a one rock dude for boarding, but you know what? Let's let's do that. Let's actually do that. So let's start getting you weapon training. All right, aim at weapons. Hit the hit the hit the piloting. Perfect. Not considering fire is four mantis, four mantis boarding better or three mantis plus one rock better. They're probably about the same, but I do like the DPS of four mantis borders, and 
It's what I love about Mantis P so much is getting that online. So let's go for the four Mantis boarding. Uh, abandoned or NG homeworlds? Well, our last NG sector kind of screwed us, but boarding with four Mantids in a oxygenless abandoned sector ships sounds like a bad idea. So let's do this. Stream yourself watching someone streaming Factorio. Rand reacts to Twitch. <laughs> wow. Oh, that, that sounds like a great, great series of videos. I would be, I would be way too bored watching somebody instead of actually playing the game. Hey, well, that's like the best crew I could get. Extra power, shield train Zoltan. That's amazing. Well, we're full up on crew. Nice. All right, we could probably get cloaking in this sector. All right. Okay. Well, there's a weapon. Okay. Um. Yeah. I have 15 missiles. Repair and 38 scrap. Not bad. He should stream himself watching someone watching someone watching someone stream Factorio. Watching Seption. Alright, time to kill all your crew in five seconds with my four mantids. Get wrecked. Uh, you go repair that. Or could watch his own VODs of himself watching someone stream something. Rand reacts to Rand reacts. <laughs> what? <laughs> Rand reacts to Rand's reactions. I can't believe I reacted that way. <laughs> That's some good content right there. <laughs> Is giving 15 missiles better than the blue option? If you do the blue option, it just says we don't want it. Please give us missiles so it does nothing. So yes. Yes, giving the 15 missiles does more than nothing. So I recommend doing more than nothing. Best way to get good at watching Twitch is to watch people who are good at watching it watch it. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, all right. Y'all are crazy. I know, I know. It's my only other weapon, but... Uh, are there weapons here? There are no weapons. I guess we get hacking. I kind of want cloaking and mind control. I already have the Zoltan shield bypass. I already have four mantis boarding. I kind of want cloaking and mind control, which are neither of the systems offered here. Um, this is definitely looking like we're going all in on the boarding. I think I'm going to skip hacking. I know, I know. It's a, it's a crazy play. I'm going to skip hacking. Force reactions will be random. You only get weapons at the store when you can't afford them. That's right. Okay. There we go. Mantis gives me... Mantis. One, two... No, it gives me scrap. One, two, three, four, five. Just need that reconstructed teleport. Okay, there's the cloaking. Ooh, and there's weapons. Ugh, okay, so... Um... All right, we're definitely getting this, and that probably means we can't get any weapons, right? Now we have the weapons and the system I want that's too expensive. And we're not selling anything, so... Okay. Pike Beam would be very useful right now. Yeah, it's a useless blue option, sadly. Ranception. Um, you actually know Twitch and YouTube people that react to their own reactions to stuff? Wow, that's just just amazing. That sounds so narcissistic. I am so entertaining. I'm gonna watch me and then react to me, and people are gonna watch me reacting to me. Oh, it's gonna be great. People will just love me, me. <laughs> God, uh, not narcissistic at all. Not not even a little bit. <laughs> reacting to themselves, reacting to things. Wow. Alright, hey, well, this was a better NG sector than our than our last run. That's good at least. If nothing else, we got a good system here. So, yeah, I have all my missiles. Maybe seeing your welcome from Moana. <laughs> You're welcome. I've actually never seen that movie, but I've heard it's a really good one. I haven't seen a lot of the newer Disney Disney movies. 
Does the crew lose all experience when they're cloned? Uh, no, it's like 10% of all of their- 10% of all of their experience. More slavers. Well, I'm maxed on crew. But, uh, I'll vent a human if you offer it. I won't say no to venting a human. Now we need to cloak the missile. Oh, I have Zeldin Shield Bypass. You're right. I forgot. I forgot how OP I am. <laughs> My bad. I totally forgot how OP I am. We have the Zeldin Shield Bypass. What am I waiting for? I'm not used to having that augment, apparently. Nice. Stoge training. Beautiful. Nice. Can you be the human I vent if I get one? Sure, Arzoza. You got dibs. You like Moana? I've heard it's really good. Uh, my nerdy group of friends, when we did our karaoke thing, uh, I think somebody sang that song. It's a good song. So I'm looking for mind control, right? Let's go ahead and get the third shield here. It's a friendly reminder, not that common to get that augment, I imagine. Ah, uh, with the reconstructive teleport. Let's be a hero. We didn't get crew, which is actually pretty good for us, because not getting the crew means... We didn't waste a reward. Do, 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 do. We killed him so fast, even a basic laser didn't get a chance to fire. Hey, free stuff. Free repair, not bad. Oh, the Zoldan Shield Bypass is not that common? Okay. Lynn Manuel Miranda did the soundtrack, and you can totally tell. You can totally tell if you, knew who, if you know who that is, which I don't really know who that is. Um... Oh, this sector layout sucks. I think I might actually need to go down this way. Seven. Gosh, can I even... I can't... There's no efficient route here, I don't think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, the sectors like this are just... Annoying as hell to deal with. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Hopefully we'll find a store over here somewhere where I can get mind control. That feel when you're too OP that you forgot your awesome OPness. <laughs> uh, I don't want to vent a mantis. Well, I guess we have to. Well, you're never too OP in this game. We were, we had a Zoltan shield. Two burst, three burst laser twos and a heavy laser with one of those burst laser twos not online. Hacking, cloaking last run and died so there's not there's no such thing as being too op over manted overflowing and apparently uh slaver overflowing too so let's continue our slaver execution here oh i can't do the dolphin flip here because there's no other four room to go in okay all right. You're welcome. It did uh, did the Rock do the voice of that character? Because I've seen a Facebook video of him singing to his daughter. Super cute. But it sounds it sounded very similar. So I feel like maybe he was the one who who did that voice. Holy crap! No, it was Dwayne Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> oh, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Yeah, it was Dwayne. Okay, it's Dwayne. Uh, okay, uh, let's do this. Let's get cloaking offline. Oh, I have no doges. That's really bad. Ugh. In hell game. Nope, he's not putting that out in time. Like I said, you can never be OP, because then FTL just does this. FTL just does this. 
Just, just amazing. Just, just amazing. No such thing as 2P and F, uh, 2 OP and FTL. Oh, I just get to have cloaking plus six weapon power that's insanely overpowered. I just get to have that. Why? Because screw you, that's why. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, no, the rock dude needs to be there. No such thing as 2OP, laughs and super luminal. Well, I should clarify, I guess. In uh, unmodded FTL, no such thing as 2OP. The game will find a way to screw you, as Jeff Goldblum says in whatever that movie is. Oh, don't die. Oh, you're gonna kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. In Jurassic Park, that's the one. Life, uh, 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 finds a way. Laughs in Jeff Goldblum. At least he isn't running away. Eh, I guess so. Dolphin Flip, uh, I'll show you. Dolphin Flip is a way in no pause to quickly move your crew in different positions, so... Say I want these two guys to be on the top, but I don't want to have to go like this, and then this, and then this, you know, I'll do all that. Uh, Dolphin Chemist, another very popular streamer, popularized this, where you select the two guys who are not the person manning the system. It's a little weird in this room, but the so two bottom guys, shift click to get all of them, bam, bam, and it quickly flips them around. It's easier to see if I do it like in here. So whoever is manning the system, say that the top two guys are the two it's position one. You do position two first, then select all and go bam, bam, and they swap places. It's called the dolphin flip. It's a good way in, heart, in no pause to move crew around quickly. And how much training will you lose? I'm going to try to not kill you with your one health that you have left. Yeah, it's a cool little, cool technique that I only recently, well, only really started using um, regularly and under, understand how it works uh, in the last couple months when uh, Pie Boy finally got it through my thick skull how it worked. Nice, good doges. Beautiful. Okay. So we're looking for a store for mind control. That's what we're looking for here. <laughs> or, you know, a weapon. Because if I get mind control, I'm not getting hacking. And we're going to need some weapons I can get through shields without hacking. I love killing my enemies so fast they can't fire their weapons. Although it does mean we don't get a lot of dodge training. All right, there's our store. Good. Bum, 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 boo. There's the mind control. All right, Breach 2 is also very good. And I pass it up once. Oh, no, 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 no. I clicked the wrong thing. Mind control. Can I afford the Breach 2? Okay. There we go. Sports boarding. It'd be very good at taking out shields when we're boarding. So, Breach 2 can kind of kind of fill in, hopefully, the void of not having uh, hacking to get through shields. And certain bombs... That's probably the best bomb in the game. I think that's widely accepted as the best bomb in the game, so let's use it. One, two, three, four. Can't do that. One, two, three, four. No, I guess we just go one. <sighs> wow. We're just not a really good option here. One, and then extra jump, then back, I guess. I mean, I don't need drone parts now, so we're gonna ignore that. Distress beacon. There's giant alien spiders. We got clone bay. We got NG. We got lots of blue option here, so search for the ship. All these blue options, and what I find? Five free hull damage. Cool. Alright, so next upgrade we're going for is weapons, and then 
dodge, I'm thinking. So we have flak and breach online. All right, what do we got, sectors? What do we got? Zolt and Homeworlds, okay. We could go for Zolt and Shield again. <laughs> or, now that we are full on crew and got Zolt and Shield on our last run, go for Envoy. Which Envoy would be a good replacement for... I guess this Zolt and... I don't know. Hey, an immediate store that I don't want. Cool. All right, Pulsar. He's got Clone Bay. And he's got an anti-personnel drone. And he's got... Oh, stupid game. <sighs> Ugh, God damn it! Didn't have power in my cloaking. Okay, because I wasn't powered, I think now I can do... Oh my god, I have no shields with a beam drone. Oh my god, I hate this game. I think I'm dead. I think I'm just dead. Pulsar hit my... Shields like four times in a row. Are you dead? That missile's incoming. I don't have cloaking. If it's a two damage missile, I'm dead. I can't get my crew back. So do I die after the fight because FTL is bullshit and stupid? Let's see. No, okay. It still does if we burn down though. Okay. Uh, so our last run ended just out of nowhere on a stupid random bullshit event. Two runs in a row, man. So who are those people who always say, "Rand, you have better RNG than I do in my games. You're just you're just lucky. That's you just win because you're lucky all the time." I would say those people, you forget runs like this or ignore that they happen. That's what I say. Oh my god. At least this time we still have one hole, yeah. We're in really good shape, man. Look at look at our run. We're so strong. I, it's, it's just it's just fucking stupid. Pulsar plus beam drone. I didn't take out his drone control. I should have, I guess, but he had he had an anti-personnel drone, he had a repair drone. And he had hacking, and he had a beam drone. Even if I had breach bombed his drone control, I, I don't know which one of those would have gone offline. So I just the ship counters us. It just counters us, man. Were we near a shop? Um, yeah, maybe I can get back to it and repair. Look, this guy in the streamer luck. The rest of us would have gotten a two damage missile. That's right. I'm so lucky. Just so lucky. Yeah, I'm by a store with 29 scrap. We can get so much repair with 29 scrap. When FK for 15 minutes, you're back to 1 HP in a dream. Yes, yes. 1 HP in a dream. Ah, oh, man. All right, 10 health. Such good shape, man. Just these, just these stupid events, man. Last time it was the free three or four Zoldan Borders plus Zoldan Bomber. Three freaking Borders. Um, this time it's freaking Pulsar with a Beam Drone bullshit. Do, 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 do. 
Do, 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 do. Yes, please bomb your own dude. Why can't I open this door? I'm pressing the open door button and the door was not opening. Thank you, FTL, for being a piece of crap. Like, I was clicking, but apparently I was trying to click on the damn crew there. Alright, um... Uh... <laughs> My Mantis Armor 4 borders, alright, I guess we don't take him. <laughs> I've complained about this before, the hit detection on crew versus doors is really stupid in this game and frustrating sometimes. I was literally clicking right here, but because there was a crew, it wouldn't let me click the door. Ugh. It's fine, you're fine, everything's fine, I don't know, this doesn't feel fine. It does not feel fine. It does not feel fine. If we get Zeldon Shield, I'll be fine. Oh, was the door ioned? But it was an orange... Uh, Okay, maybe that's what it was. I don't know. Ah, freaking glaive beam. Okay, well we have the Zolden Shield bypass. Do, 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 do. Yay, no damage. Yay. Seems like any OP ship build, even modded ships, can all be countered by a Pulsar. Uh, Zoltan Shield is the counter to Pulsar, which is what we had last run, so we were safe against Pulsar, but then. I think right after the Pulsar is when we got countered by the counter to our counter. Which was an eye on uh, Mark 1, a Glaive Beam, and multiple drones to kill my uh, our Zoltan Shield really fast. And would I plan to have Zoltan Shield Bypass? <laughs> we actually do have Zoltan Shield Bypass, so get wrecked by my Zoltan Shield Bypass. Do the same thing we did last time. Back up, bad read this. Do 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 Cook that do 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 Pum 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 two high health guys Okay. Will the Zoltan have one against two Mantis in the med bay? It depends on the level of uh, med bay. If it's level two, I think level two med bay can heal faster than two Mantis can kill. Also probably depends on the Mantis skill. But two Mantis with only level one, uh, with no, with no fighting upgrades, I think can kill a single crew and a level one med bay. There's a lot of different levels to that. Depends on levels of levels of levels. Levels of levels things. Okay. Alright, you have a big giant missile and a four person heal bay. Okay. Let's deal with their borders first. Oh, okay, that's great. So here, dolphin flip. Poke that. Okay. Oh man, if we lose crew though. Oh, there's a breach in there, that's bad. Oh, thank god. Okay, okay, don't be in there. Wow, we still haven't lost any crew. That's amazing. If he kills one guy, that's fine. Oh god. Don't you dare hit my clone bay after the fight's over. If that small bomb had hit my clone bay after the fight ended and killed those two mantis, just, I'm just done. Done! Done with this crap. Frickin' FTL. Thank goodness that didn't happen. 
because again, that'd be stupid crap that wouldn't happen to the enemy because the enemy gets free dodges after the fight's over. Player does not because screw you, FTL's imbalanced. Stream would be over then, yeah. Oh, I'm done with the stream. No more streaming today. <laughs> Is there a mod that gives you free dodge after the fight? I, not that I know of. I, I mean, hyperspace maybe can do that. I don't know. All right, so what are we looking at from the store? Augments now, right? So I should be good to do this. This. I don't know if that's a moddable thing. There should be. There should be a mod like that. I agree. Rand transforms in the Hulk. <laughs> Sounds like it would have required changing some pretty core game files. Well, hyperspace lets you do that now. Let's you. That's the great thing about hyperspace. Let you do stuff like get into the code or whatever. Hey, hear them out. Can I get Zoltan Shield two times in a row? It'd be great. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Okay. All right. We're going to board with our Elanius here. Teleport in his weapons, I guess. Good. I'd love to get this missile offline. Oh my god. Oh my god, he dodged it. I only have four missiles left, man. Hey, guess what? He's only leaving the missile weapons online because it's random. It's so random. Guess what? One missile does five damage to us. Hashtag balanced. What a balanced, balanced game this is. So hashtag balanced. Okay, lovely randomly hitting outside of the thing. That's great. Oh, come on. Don't let him get one more missile shot in just because we can't dodge. Please. All right, he's out of missiles. Okay, good. If I felt this stressful, it's where we live today, apparently. Damn, I was really hoping for a store down here. Oh, no store. Better get dodge, I guess. Oh, that's so good. All right, uh, 20. You know, I'm actually going to do what I normally don't do and repair for the biggest thing they can give because I don't know the next time I'm going to see a store. So there we go. Pretty good deal still. A little over repair, but right now I kind of need over repair. Without bloodshed and... That's about what I expected. All right. I'm actually thinking of replacing the Lanius. This gives me extra power and it gives me the dodge training. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Seems sad and mean to do the Mitlanius, but especially when he can board these all these auto scouts we run into, but this gives me power and it gives me the dodge. Salt doesn't suck my air out. True. That's not the real issue. The real issue is just I have too many crew. Which crew? Better overall synergy, yeah. Envoy isn't happy to see you either. He's a peace envoy and we're the scourge of the galaxy. <laughs> so it's mutual dislike. Cool. Uh, yeah, most useless upgrade in the game. How about no swag sensors? 
I already have more shields and dodge than I did on my previous run going to Sector 6. So, my defenses are better. No hacking. My weapons are way worse. So, that's what we need to do something about. Yeah, sure. Let's hire a crew. It's going to be useful. Use of our scrap right now. You also thought it was amusing to take the peace envoy and make him man weapons. <laughs> It's pretty funny. Hey, what do you know? I just got rid of Lanius and we're going to fight nothing but goddamn auto scouts. Cool, man. Cool. I love this game. So much fun. With a solar flare that could take out my clone bay if I board. Okay, man, we are like the only thing we're really weak again right now is auto scouts. So what do we keep fighting? Goddamn effing auto scouts. Yep. Yep. Did he dodge? He dodged. Get the fuck out of here. Screw this game right now, man. Just screw this game. Excuse my language, but God damn it, FTL. Why? Why do you just insist on being the stupidest bullshittiest thing ever? It's what I do. Okay. Envoy Sario high level and said, nah, you don't need Zoldan Shield. Our defenses are better, thus we went down to one hole rather than zero hole. Yeah, what's up, Pie Boy? Alright, could we not fight the exact counter to every goddamn ship? We play today. That would be nice. How about that, FTL? How about that? I know, no pie says. Shogi told me you told him that yesterday. It's funny. Um, I need your pie save in my freaking FTL games right now. FTL is a completely an abusive relationship. That is completely true. Manta C only has counters. Alright, can he do no damage so I can at least board him without... Fear of dying, losing my crew. He's running. I'm gonna lose my crew. Okay, I need to. I need to cloak the bomb. Okay. We breached the piling so we can't get out. I need to breach the weapons. Damn it, the ion is still online. That is that is what's if he if he ions my if he ion, he's gonna ion this hundred percent. Ah get wrecked. Okay, we did it. Frickin' did it. We did it, Reddit. God damn it, backup battery. I almost just lost my crew anyway. I have Zoldan's true. I would have forgotten about that though. I would have forgotten about it. But you're right, we do. But you're right, we can counter it if I remember to use what I can do. And he's, I have one station right next to it, so he can't get over there. Of course, it moves the power of the shields and all that, but. Okay. Ship is always one of the hardest for you. Boarding is not your strongest strat and it starts with crap weapons. You always need some weapon RNG to pull through with this ship. Well, it's the same issue with Mantis B though. There's no weapons on that one. This ship is just meh. Yeah, it's pretty meh. We have a good build though. But having a good build does not counter them countering your build. And what we don't have is good weapons, so we find only freaking auto scouts. Man, just be has two shields, yeah. It does, it does. That's why I like it better than this. This is like the crappier Mantis B. Okay. Looking for a store with weapons. Alright, somebody I can board, yay! No heal bay, cool. Kill him. 
A little weapon training here. Actually, don't need any more defense training. We got shields and dodge all trained up. I guess because we got envoy and all that. Okay. All right, store. Actually, I'm gonna go here in case it's store there and it's like double store, so I can hit both of them efficiently. What was that? Seventy scrap. Nice. That's really good rewards. No one hails my ship. Okay. Okay, I'm looking for... I would take a Flak 2 Halberd Beam right now kind of thing. Heavy Laser 2, that's great. That's great. Um, trying to decide if I want to replace Breach with one of these whole lasers just because I'm a little low on missiles, and I probably don't want to do that. One of the few times I will take Flak 2... Is when we have a three, three slot weapon system, and we don't have hacking. That's like one of the few times when Black Two is actually pretty darn good. Heavy Laser Two, really great if you can get it online. Well, and if I can get through shields mainly. Okay, this guy can do damage, but we have to be, get pretty unlucky. So I'm gonna board. What do I want to go on? Piloting and shields. Yeah. Do, 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 Crap. I can't get that online right now. Whoops. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we can't dodge. So we breach the shields. Good. Poor mantids. Keep... Keep cloning them when all they want to do is be a real martial... A, a black belt martial artist that doesn't forget what they do every other jump. Poor guys. Do, do, do. I could get the heavy laser online right now. But I'm... I'm holding off on upgrading it in case there's a store that's got... Something really good like... Vulcan is also another one that when you have a low number of weapon slots and no hacking kind of fills that void Your girlfriend just saw your game list on steam and her jaw hit the floor trying to explain the problem that humble bundle monthly costs causes tier list. Yeah But I paid like 20 cents for all these games 22 scrap. All right 66 total not bad I will do this in case we get another auto scout and I can swap over to the heavy laser too. Do 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 do. Three women slot ship without hacking. Bold. Lol. Okay. Four shield ship in sector six. I think this is. Ugh. Nothing. Okay, well, I don't want to fight a guy with a big goddamn giant missile and four shields. Well... Not the weapons I was looking for. End of Sector 6 long-range scanners. Probably still worth. You had to stop looking at Humble Bundles. You have played maybe 10% of the games on your Steam list at this point. I've never really been tempted by that because I just I know I'm not gonna play those games yeah we have the Zolden Shield Bypass already that's why I'm investing so heavily into the boarding thinking about Pegasus but I think I think this is just our weapon system we breach shields flak and heavy laser is pretty good we got our boarding so now I think we just work towards getting this all online so Ninety scrap and power, and we we will have our weapon system online. It's not an amazing weapon system, but with boarding, it's pretty good. What about twenty dollar good zero? Twenty good zero dollar games. 
Buying twenty terrible one dollar games is better than buying one good twenty dollar game. Okay, yeah, I don't know about that. Okay. Do 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 do. Can I get the anti personnel drone to go away? I can't do dolphin flip here, man. Okay. All right, no weapons. We do need to focus drone control then. Freaking followed me. Pulsar, you better not kill my crew, you mother. All right, I might just leave just to guarantee. Yeah, I can't take the chance that he kills my crew. Uh, I have Zoltan. Never mind. We have Zoltan. Zoltan counter. Keep forgetting I can do that. We're fine. Yeah, I'm Zoltan. Yep. Yeah. I remembered. I remembered this time. I remembered. You usually play one or two of the Humble Bundle games and never touch the rest. Sometimes you just fire up a random game to see if it's good. You should make a mod that gives the enemies a shield piercing fire beam drone. Yeah, you should make that. I'll make sure to never play it. But it'll be lots of fun to punish yourself with for all the masochists out there. Um, it's a good deal, but I really don't want to give away my missiles. But it's a good deal, so I got to take it. It's like a good deal that you just can't take. And who would have thought it? Figures. Well, we got power for days. Mantis or Rebel? I'm sick of your auto scouts, go Mantis. Yeah, Zoltan power cannot be ioned. That's right. So Pulsar, if it hits... Uh, like Clone Bay, if you move your guy into there, this yellow power cannot be ioned. That is what the... Uh, that's what the Zoltan's... A nice byproduct of the Zoltan free power thing is. Still don't want to go to Pulsar, so I'm not going to go there. Okay. You might go back to that human flak mod you made a long time ago and use hyperspace to optimize it. Nice. Double halberd beams. Now there's a build. Okay. So if mind control ever goes into the heal bay, breach bomb the heal bay. Whew, that was a lot of 59, 52 plus 39. That was like 90 scrap or something crazy. Yikes, that's awesome. So Zoltan and Clone Bear protection losing crew and Pulsar. Correct, it does. The system is already ion. Does moving Zoltan into the room undo it? Yes. I think so. So like if a Pulsar hits this and then I move him in there, that power, like it forces power. This is like you can't remove this power. You can't remove it. So if this is ion and if you move him in there, pretty sure... It guarantees a power. It stays powered there. <laughs> Streamer luck, 90 scrap. That's right. System stays ion, but you can put the power bar in. Yeah. You actually can't take the power out if the Zoltan goes in there. All right. We got Flak, Heavy Laser Breach. An interesting setup. Not one I've had in a while, but should be pretty effective. Combine it with boarding. <laughs> Um, and lots of dodge, and hopefully uh, we will be able to kill lots of crew in the uh, enemy ship early. You did make a script, though, to convert ships convert ships to enemies, but you need to add more to it for a viewership, viewership enemies mod. Okay. So many mantis. It's like we're in a mantis sector. And the mic control one. Beautiful. Um, got him. Okay. All right. Oh, that was scary. Double missile weapons when I got guys in my clone bay. God, we are going to lose our crew at some point. I just know it. Just freaking know it, man. 
Um, there's an issue that you can't really specify the crew the way you can on a player ship. Yes, there's there's the command. Welcome to, to airlock, human. Prepare to get vented. Prepare your venting. I might just get level 3 clone bay just to protect my crew here. That's probably... Losing crew is the one thing that ends our run, probably. So, well, of course, just a ship that straight counters us and we die, like happened last run and almost this run that we were one off lethal for. Our, for. How about only ships with multiple missiles and bombs? How about it? So, hashtag balanced. <laughs> All right. Well, that's another venting crew. Cool. Take it. God, I, I, I really do wish I had reconstructed teleport right now. Really do. The old boy, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, my friend. One, two, three, four, five. Nah, I gotta go now. One, two, three. Across. Couldn't afford... I don't know if I have anything to sell. Vent him into the sun, yeah. Poor guy. Yeah. Hey, 200 bits from my soul. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Uh, this is sector 7. I need 9 fuel, so I will buy 1. Scrap recovery arm. Oh no, no, that's worth selling anything for because there's nothing I really want to sell right we have our weapon systems old shield bypass long range scanners gets us more scrap yeah we want all that stuff We're finally able to make it a stream nice well I'm glad to see you my friend <laughs> accept their bribe well <laughs> stay out of this fight we'll make it worth your while I mean that's a really good bribe do I want that over the breach is the question. It's an amazing deal. This almost feels like a trap because breach is so good against boarding. I mean, I guess we always take it even if we sell the burst laser, right? I... <laughs> so we got a free burst laser 2 last game. Died. We get a bribe that includes a burst laser 2 this game. I don't know if I want to use that over the breach too. <laughs> Rand, I am so unlucky. FTL hates me. One eighteen. Uh, Clock McWakey, what an anything to follow. Yes, you always say that after those deals. Where was where was that when we when we literally died in two seconds to that ship that countered us last uh, last run? Um, I don't know which is better. Do I want more projectiles or do I want the breach? You know what, what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this for now. To save missiles, and then maybe on the boss, when we're trying to get crew kills, we will use the breach bomb for, like, the earlier phases. Oh, wait, I, this doesn't even connect, does it? I still go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's not amazing, but we can do that. Might be worth keeping them using on phase 3 of the flagship. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We probably use bomb early phases and laser later phases. Mind control one. Frickin' bombs and missiles every frickin' fight. Okay. Cook that. Okay. That feel when they have so many mantids, your four man mantis boarding can't kill them all. It's okay, I'll finish you like this. Whoa! Okay, I won't finish you because you dodge all the things. Okay. Uh, we can just do this. Go in, if we go into shields, he'll come and fight us. Wow! Wow, another free weapon. Okay, that is kind of insane. Black plus Burst Laser 2 plus Heavy Laser is godly. It is godly. It is. 
it can still be dodged, as you can see right there, with nobody on engines and only three shields and a pilot. They took zero damage, so... I don't know if godly is the right word. Godly makes it sound like it's unbeatable, but it can be dodged. <laughs> What's this ship, Beefalo Boy? This is the Mantis Sea. A normal vanilla ship. With hacking, it's godly, Kappa. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Most weapons are godly with hacking, except heal bomb or repair bomb or something. What's with the weird corner connection things on the rooms? What? Corner connection things? What do you mean? This? This? That's just room layouts or whatever. That's just, it's just normal things. Nothing weird about this ship. It's totally, totally normal things. The floor image, that's the thing. That's the ticket. Oh, the Dumble Doges, though. There it is. Four-man Mantis boarding with mind control, and we still can't always just win the fight on the first uh, teleport over. It's pretty crazy. My not enough weapons request is finally processed. Okay, nice. What are those white boxes on your ship? Yeah. Like the corner inside the ring of systems. You mean this? Uh, I mean, I guess I haven't really ever looked at it, but it's just... That's normal, right? I think the Mantis Sea has always had that. Florid image has different edging on some vanilla ships. Most modded ships don't have that due to how super, super luminal works. I'm pretty sure that's always been there. I mean, I've never really looked at it and noticed it. Looks like a stop sign, I guess. I think that's just always been there. Okay, um... Sector seven. So four shields. I'm gonna want five dodge. I might want. I might want level. I might want level three uh, mind control. I actually do. I want level three teleporter so I can get all the side systems down in sector one or in phase one of the boss. Lots of things I want to get. Let's get fifth dodge. I know we need this. Sultan ships have large floor images too. We currently lack swag sensors. I actually was offered for a cheap upgrade of swag sensors, and I turned it down because it's stupid. Because it's stupid and a waste of scrap. That's the that's the human venting airlock. That sounds about right. I don't need fuel. Thanks. Thanks, though. We need more Vespers gas. Vespine geyser? Okay. You had an internet outage since Sector 1 is run. What did you miss? VOD for the rescue. What did you miss? You missed all the good things. All of the good things is what you missed. All right. So do I save up for fourth shield or do I make my boarding stronger by like getting higher level mind control and higher level teleporter? With cloaking, I think I'm okay to have three shields. I think. So I think I want to invest in... Power for mind control. Teleporter power. I want to invest in teleporter mind control, I think. And we're going to go all in on the crew killing thing on the boss. When you're in this position, you rinse this sector and spend before the boss. Good old hoarding. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping for a sector 8 store so I can sell all these free weapons we got, but it's probably not going to happen. Okay. Whew, too late, we didn't save them. Oh, 
Money! <laughs> I mean, I'm so sorry we couldn't save you. I was really trying my, my darndest. Trying my darndest. But you get cocky, kid? Yeah. Well, I often will do that, but in this case, I think it's pretty straightforward what I need to do. Force Shield will be nice, but if we're going to be shutting down a lot of their offense by boarding quicker, I, I feel like we don't need the Force Shield, so I really want to kind of want to just go all in on the boarding here. Our weapons are good enough. We can do that. You just realized I had three burst laser twos in the last run? I did. I did and still died to a crazy event. Pretty crazy. Might also convert Oni ships to hyperspace. Oh, that's cool. Bum, bum. And you can make the Oni Oni augments hidden and so on. Oh, that's wow! That's, I didn't know you could do that. Go here. Probably take a missile here. Eh, okay, we got offline. So we take two damage. Sucks. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. We already got our two repair stations, so. Why did sensors. Oh, our sensors went offline because of the. Annoying giant drone. That was 137 scrap right there. Holy crap. And we got a breach I gotta fix. Okay. Do, 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 do. do. To be fair, that glaive was pretty unlucky. Well, what's crazy is the glaive wouldn't have hurt us that much if he didn't also have an ion and two offensive drones to go along with it. Because we had frickin' Zoltan Shield. That's the really crazy thing to me, is the fact that we had Zoltan Shield and we still died so fast. I think we're at like 15 or below health, but still, it's pretty crazy. I could probably still get four shield, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Back up out of the mind control. We still have at least one jump, maybe two. So, you don't really play hyperspace just now, though, so it was a bit wasted. Oh, uh, you've done it with most of your mods. Oh, you, you've made all, most of your mods swapped over to hyperspace or hyperspace compatible, I guess, maybe. Seventy-five scrap and a missile. <laughs> oh, look at all this stuff. Why can't I hold all this scrap? Okay. Um, is there a hyperspace mod that reversed the hacking fix? Uh, Math Champ actually, I think, was I talked about one. I don't know if he made one or. Something. What? Those dodges, though. What the actual fudge? Okay. Oh, we stunned that guy as he ran through weapons. That's awesome. Got him. Oh, an NG. Now that's an interesting choice to swap out my rock for an NG for better repairs. Um, but he's my weapons guy, so I don't think I'm going to do that. Sorry, I keep, keep venting all these people. No, I don't feel good about it. Combat NG. Combat NG. Clocky Mc... No, wait. Uh, Nietzsche with the 11 months in a row, my friend. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. You rock. Most of the mods you played here, you put in a single hyperspace compatible mod so you could flick through the pages and select any ship. Oh, you did? That's cool. That's what you mean by you compiled them, huh? That's awesome. 
Could have replaced a mantis. Yeah, I sure could have. Sure could have. All right, 153 scrap. So, um, we need to decide what we're gonna do with the boss fight. So we're gonna board iron weapon first, beam weapon second. In the meantime, we're gonna try to kill cloaking. Do I want to breach something? If I breach the missile. So if I breach instead of Burt's laser, like breach a shield first, and then maybe breach the missile second, we could probably kill almost all of his crew. Um, I'm thinking of getting level three mind control uh, to help with our boarding. We back up barrier to level three there, and we can get. Value point, value point. So we can back up battery that. NG can be useful for a mind control bait. Well, we already have one NG who could be mind control bait, but I have a mind control counter, so I don't really need a, a mind control bait. That's the reason I get mind control is for the boss. It's helpful with boarding, but it's really for the boss. All right, um, the question is, do I vent my mantids now so we go into this at full health? Because with level 3 clone bay, we heal 25 health, so you're going to be... They're all going to be missing some health. At least one of them will get their one training back from the systems they kill, so I think it's best if we go in with full health. Yeah, level three of mind control. Uh, level three mind control in the heal bay is my plan. So that whoever, whoever, the first human that goes to try to heal in the med bay, we mind control them while our mantids are killing them in some other room. The question is, what other rooms am I going in? We're obviously going to kill the two side weapons off first because it's going to be a long phase. I think what I want to do is just try to breach. Man, do I breach shield with the first shot and then shoot the... Missiles, or do I breach the missiles with our first shot? I think we try to breach the shields and then shoot the missiles, I think is what we do. Everyone, uh, all mantis, please report to the medical airlock. No need to vent your opinion. I don't know. I think I could have done without it, but I think I think it was going to be helpful because this when we go back... After we kill the two side rooms, I want them to be at full health. Alright, alright. I have one place to jump to if things get funky. The funky duck. Even two damage into missiles is enough. Ah, to keep keep it offline, yeah. He hacks my teleporter, I can't do oh, that's a bad hack. Um Since I'm going to take out his weapons, this might be okay. What do y'all think? Is shield hack okay? I'm thinking of leaving. Because if he hacks my weapons or teleporter, it's even worse. So I think we actually stick with this. I don't love this, but I think we're going to stick with this. You'd run. That's a... That's... It was a pause or a jump. I was giving myself the option here. I cloaked that early, but... Okay. Ah, damn, I, I didn't teleport in time. My thought is that I will be disabling a lot of their weapons so the shield hack doesn't necessarily just kill me outright. That was my thought. Nothing important's gone offline yet. Well, I mean, I have all these dodges and this stupid power is stupid in this stupid game, so... 
Okay. Cool. <sighs> this is not going super well. <laughs> okay, that crew kill's good. Ah, <sighs> those dodges though. Still focusing on the crew kills here. Nice. All right, one crew left. Beautiful. Oh, uh, whoops. Okay, no crew left. <laughs> all right, there we go. All right, we took a decent chunk of damage, but we killed all of his crew and we have boarding, so we should be good. Amazing work. Uh, it was okay. It was okay. I would not have stuck around for that fight with a broken shields if I wasn't doing boarding strats, for sure. Um, shooting at the med bay room when they're trying to repair it is very good for crew kills, too. So, now that we can just board and kill all their crap, this should be GG. Uh, I didn't mean to kill that last guy. Honestly, I was trying to kill the shield so that my flak and heavy laser would get through. But it's not that big a deal when you kill all the crew and you're boarding and you have the mind control counter because you could just board and take out their piloting and shields and stuff. Yeah, crew kill for damage is fine. Uh, I still have all these things. So now we can do this. Um, although Breach Bomb is very good too because Breach Bomb when he has AI means they can't repair stuff. So I might actually want to keep using the Breach Bomb. Um, let me think here. So if I'm going to board... I'm going to board in his shield and I'm going to move two Mantis to kill his missiles off. I would... If I like Breach his piloting once, then he never gets dodges. I think, I think we do just do this. Freaking breach bomb is insane. Actually insane for uh, the AI. Haven't taken over. You like to board missiles phase two and move to other systems for micro easy. Yeah. Want to board lasers with four? Board laser? What? Do you mean the the far right beam? Um, or you mean actually board both weapons? I like keeping. I like keeping at least two Mantis to kill the shields. But I might not need to. Maybe you're right. Maybe I move two to lasers, two to missiles. That might be the way to go. Two will appear in droid. Oh, you're talking about dealing with the uh, boarding drone? I'm hoping I can ignore the boarding drone. If he goes to any, if he goes to a non-important system like any of these, I'm just going to ignore him while I kill his ship. He goes into like piloting, uh, yeah, piloting or weapons or shields. I might need to leave a couple of my dudes over. Two missiles takes that down. Then you send two to drone to stop the boarding drone. Um, I don't care too much about the boarding drone. Again, depends on where he goes. Going to drone control. That might not be a bad idea. What? Th there's also an argument for sending one mantis to four different rooms. What if I sent one Mantis here, 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 and here? It'd be slower to getting those things down, but it would be slowing down all of those things. I don't know if I like that. I think I'm going to do what I said I was going to do originally. I'm going to do this. And he goes into teleporter. It's fine. Level three, so it's gonna take him a long time to get through it. Dodge the missile or dodge that. 
Okay. Okay. So many doges, though. I actually don't want this to go down if I can help it, though. Oh, I left one there. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Okay. Now we got the cloaking for this one. And Zeldin Shield Bypass kind of makes the boarding super good against this guy. I think cloaking timing is all, always random, Pie Boy, because I think the overcharge... A <laughs> free system repair drone? Great. I think the overcharge timing is always random, right? Like, I don't think the overcharge always happens at the same time every... I think it's inconsistent even between phases in a single run, if I'm not mistaken. It's random, yeah, but you like to find patterns. Oh, are you saying because the love because I use level two and Math Champ you you say you usually want to use level one cloaking? I Yeah, I don't know. Since I had the power, thought it was worth. Okay. Um This might seem goofy, but I am gonna vent these guys because mind control, they're gonna attack each other, and there's gonna be a small delay between me being able to stop them attacking each other, so I'm gonna get them full health here. Yeah, level one cloak, or level two cloak. It might be better to do level one cloak. I did level two because I wanted to have a better chance of cloaking the entire, the, the missile volley and have it last long enough through the, um, uh, through the overcharge. Probably is normally better to do level one. Vent Rock 2, I'm thinking about it, but I don't think I need to, because I'm not boarding with him. Only thing that kills him if he gets, like, a breach in here, so... I only did that because these guys, if they're ever together, are gonna immediately attack once they get mind-controlled, and that gives me, with full health, they'll, I can hopefully have more time to... to counter the mind-control. The breach did not seem that good. Since it gets dodged so much, I think I'm just not using the breach. Sorry, breach. Okay, 46 scrap, we get... <laughs> I could get power, but you know what? This is for you, pie boy. Swag sensors. Most useless upgrade in the game, let's do it. I prepared for the borders next phase. <laughs> Planning each phase is a big, big bit of advice to new players. Yeah, kind of... That's, that's true. Planning what you're doing in the next phase so that you know going in helps. So, let's do that. He's gonna, he's gonna mind control somebody immediately. We counter that, then we move all of our mantids. Actually, what I wanna do is I want to save them into this position so I can do save, so I can just hit enter for them to get in there. Then we board him in the shield room, send two mantis over to the missile room again, because we have Zoltan shield bypass, so that doesn't slow us down. We do not cloak the missile purposefully because we need to cloak the overcharge phase and let's hope the missiles don't cause like multiple double fires which is probably what's going to happen okay you probably wouldn't try to cloak both unless you had level three but that isn't guaranteed okay okay so one of my mantids you there auto fire auto fire auto fire teleport you go there so we don't cloak the missile don't do it don't do it. I want to, but I can't. Oh. And punished. I now have no cloaking. God damn you, FTL. Just, just god damn you. <sighs> just, just god damn you, FTL. Just, you, you just, you just suck and I hate you. I think we still win, but god damn it, FTL. Four health left. Kill it. 
kill it with fire. God, that was way harder than it should be. That's so fucking stupid, man. That's just dumb. That's just dumb. Double fire my uh, clo uh, cloaking from one missile. One or two fires doesn't matter. It's, it's enough to stop me from being able to cloak. And then killed my shields. Just stupid. All right, GG, we got there. 58-72, a really high score, actually. Even when we win, the game is like, I'm going to screw you as hard as possible before you win. Really, really bad RNG, that run. Actually really bad and really good because we got an insane number of free weapons at the end. But my god. FGL just can't go around without going, you win, but... <laughs> Uh, 5872 is not one of my top four. My top one on that ship on, on NG, or meant to see. That was absolute equivalent of last missile hit after surrender, yeah. Three shards of the overcharge all went in shields, yeah. I don't know how that randomly happens. <laughs> how, when you have like 18 rooms... Do three out of those 18 shots go to the same room? That's, that's bl mind-blowingly stupid RNG. Can you defeat the boss and then die from incoming missiles? Um, yeah. Yeah, you can die with the boss at the same time. Absolutely. Eat a cookie, feel better. You die, but you still win. So, alright, my friends, I'm gonna stand up stretch these rich, and thank y'all so much for watching. Stay right the stream, please hit the follow. Hope you enjoy the FTL. And the Stalt. At least we got the win there with the crappy rough RNG. But then when we come back, we will do, we'll ran another ship, do another run, and hopefully not get wrecked again. Y'all rock. See you in a bit, my friends.